Hello and welcome to Zabbix Hand Aid Tips. In this video we will learn how to use the problem suppression feature added in Zabbix 6.2 to suppress any unwanted problems and pause any related trigger actions. Let's start by finding the problem that we wish to suppress in the problems widget located on one of our dashboards. Press the no button under the acknowledge column next to the problem. We can also do the same by navigating to Monitoring, Problems, and finding our problem there. Next, let's select the Suppression Scope. We can either suppress the problem indefinitely, specify the relative or absolute time periods, or provide a date and time when the suppression should be over. For this example, we will use the date picker and select a date. Optionally, we can also provide some additional information in the message input field, so our team members can see the cause for the problem suppression. Once we are finished, Let's press the Update button to apply the suppression. We can see the crossed out I symbol marking the problem as suppressed. Next to it, we can also see the message icon hovering over which will display a message that we have left for our team. From this moment, the problem is suppressed and all of our related actions are paused until the suppression is over. Once you refresh the widget or the whole dashboard, the problem will be hidden. We can choose to display the suppressed problems by opening the problem widget or the problem page configuration and marking the show suppressed problems checkbox. Once we apply the changes, you will see that the suppressed problem is now visible to you. Problem suppression can be extremely useful to reduce false alerts and clear up the visual clutter caused by unwanted problems. Now that we have finished, you should be able to suppress any unwanted problems in your own environment and help your team out by preventing any unwanted alerts from reaching their mailbox.